I'm going to go into more detail on that problem with lists and references to other lists that we encountered in the last episode. I'll use the Python interpreter to give some examples. Okay, let's start out by making a shopping list. I'll call Jeff's shopping list GS, and it'll have some items that he wants to buy. He wants cereal, eggs, meat, ham, ham is a meat, whatever. That's what Jeff wants. And I want to start from that list and get some other things myself. I mean, Jeff's a good guy. He knows what's good. But I've got my own ideas too. So I'm going to say my shopping list, MS, equals GS. And then check my list. OK, my list has now got his items in it. And now I'll add to my list ms.append milk. I mean, man, the poor guy, he's getting cereal with no milk. OK, now let's look. OK, great. My list has milk in it. But of course, Jeff doesn't want milk. So I should check that his list is OK. Wait, what? Look, his list has milk in it now. OK, so this is the problem that when I set ms equals gs, what I did there is I made both lists refer to the same place in memory. So when I try to modify one, it, it modifies the other. It's the same list. OK, so how do we fix this? In this case, we want to copy a list, make a new one with the same elements in it. And here's one way to do that. There's a bunch of different ways. Um, you can look up copying lists in Python in Google and probably find 10 ways of doing it. But here's one. So first, I want to delete one of those lists. Um, so if I delete ms, well, gs is still there. ms doesn't exist anymore. OK, good. So let's remove the milk from Jeff's list. OK, gs.pop minus 1. OK, GS. So I was able to remove the last element. Great. OK, so Jeff's list is fixed. Now I'm going to make my own list, ms equals GS, open square bracket, colon, close square bracket. And now let's try adding milk. Uh, I, I used square brackets there by mistake. OK, look at that. MS now has milk and GS doesn't. So what was that whole thing with the, the square brackets and the, look at that, the square bracket and the colon? What did that do? Well, it copied the list items one by one. And that's a pretty good solution as long as those items themselves are not lists uh, or other objects that are actually themselves references. So this would be what you call a shallow copy. And it wouldn't work on certain objects. Um, like I said. So if you need to copy something more complicated than this and make a truly new copy of it, then you need something called deep copy, where as deep as that list goes, lists and lists and lists, or objects inside objects and so on, that a totally new copy of each one would be made and stored in a different place in memory. Otherwise, they'll be referring to the same thing, um, which in the previous example was OK, but sometimes you don't want it that way. All right, well, ask a friend if you have a problem with this. It takes a little while to get your head wrapped around, and I hope this helped. Okay, see you next time.